again year six well this is my final video to you before i see you in person for your very first day at Liscard school in september so i thought what i'd do is just to share with you a little presentation about your very first day where to go what to expect those sorts of things that if you've got any questions or you've got any worries hopefully by watching this video that will help so i do love a good powerpoint presentation so i'm just going to share with you now some visuals to help you understand some of the things that i'm going to say so just bear with me a moment while i load it i should appear in the bottom right hand screen here we go it's loading excellent Okay, your very first day with us is on Thursday, the 3rd of September. If you've got brothers and sisters coming to school, you will find that they are starting on a different day. They're actually starting on Monday, the 7th of September, unless of course you've got a twin in year seven, in which case they'll be starting with you as well on Thursday, the 3rd. So on the Thursday and the Friday, it is just year seven and year 12 students in school. So you have got basically the school to yourself. What do we expect from you on your first day? Well, we expect you to arrive looking really, really smart in your school uniform. As you can see, the two students on the screen there, they look incredibly smart. They've got their shirts tucked in. They're wearing their ties correctly. They've got black shoes on, not trainers or pumps, and they are ready to learn. We're expecting you to bring your equipment with you. So your pens, your pencil, ruler, calculator, etc. If you're not sure exactly what sort of, sort of equipment to bring, then please go onto the school website, have a look on the transition section for all the equipment list. Um, I've also sent that out to you in the post. So your, your parents or carers at home have got a copy of that as well. We're expecting you to arrive on time School actually starts at 8.45, but when we say it starts at 8.45, we mean you're actually in the building, in the correct room, sat down, ready to learn. So most students arrive around 8.30, 8.35, so that they're not rushing and that they can get to their room at the right time. We're expecting you most importantly to come with a can-do attitude. We completely understand that it's your first day, we completely understand that some of you are feeling really nervous. Others of you are just feeling really excited. However you feel, it's important that you come in and you say to yourself, yes, I can do this. I, it might be a bit different to what I'm expecting. It might be a bit different to primary school, but I can, I can do this and I can have a really, really good first day. I can guarantee you, if you come with that attitude, then you will go home with a massive smile on your face at the end of the day because you will have really enjoyed it and you will feel a really, really big sense of accomplishment. So where do you go? When you arrive, you get off the bus or you walk in or your parents or carers drop you, where do you go? Well, the first person you will see is myself. There I am. I will be wearing a high-vis yellow jacket out the front of school um, and I'll be directing you just to the right-hand side of that red sign there. If you cannot remember which tutor group you're in, or you've got a question that you really need answering straight away, or you just want to say hello, please come over and speak to me. You will also see these two people. They will be there as well. Mr. Gluis, your head of year, and Mrs. Chapman, your assistant head of year. So if you spot them and you want to speak to them, please do come up to them and say hello or ask anything you need to ask. So we will be directing you through to the tennis courts which look like this. And on the far side, the far fence, you will see on the fence, it will say which tutor group you are in. So 7L, 7I, 7S, etc. And we'll be asking you to line up socially distanced um, by your tutor group sign. Once you've lined up, your tutor will be there and your tutor will take you over to your tutor room. 
Your tutor room is over on the other side of the school. So if I just show you the map here, they will walk you from the tennis courts all the way around the back of the school over to the corridor, which we normally call the humanities corridor, where we teach history and geography and um, uh, religious studies. Uh, however, because of the bubble situation, um, that is going to be your zone, your year seven zone. So they'll walk you over there and your year seven zone, this is your corridor, your zone, and there you will find your tutor room. So your tutor will walk you into your tutor room and that is where you will be for the rest of that day. Normally, you will have all your lessons in your tutor room, apart from some specialist lessons like technology, PE, um, music. Uh, and if you've got any of those lessons, your teachers will actually come and take you from, or come and get you from your tutor room, take you to your lesson and bring you back to your tutor room. So if you're worried about getting lost, there really is no need to be worried because it's very straightforward. All you need to do on the first day is to see me in my high vis yellow jacket, give me a wave, go to the tennis courts, line up, and then you really cannot go wrong. What about break and lunchtime? Well, as you can see from what I'm showing with you now, there are four periods in the day um, and you have break and lunch at the time shown on the screen there. It does look a little bit strange because you can see that break is actually during period one and lunch is during period three. This is because we've got to have staggered lunch times and break times with the rest of the school so that your bubble, your year seven bubble and your tutor group bubble, you don't come into contact with students from year eight, year nine, year 10, etc. You don't need to remember what time break is and lunch because your tutor will say to you, partway through period one, okay, it's break time now. Partway through period three, it's lunch time now. There is no uh, canteen available at break time. So please remember to bring with you a snack um, or a drink or anything that you need for break time. We strongly recommend you bring packed lunches for lunch time. However, if you do need to use the canteen, um, we will take you down to the canteen. You will be having lunch or going in to get your lunch in the new hall, which you can see here, um, and then going outside to the basketball courts out the back um, for a run around. You could play football, um, games, things like that. At the end of the day, back to the map, your tutor will take you from your bubble shown by the yellow, uh, circle on the screen there. They will take you back to where you started at the start of the day. So that in a nutshell is your very first day at secondary school. What you put in is what you get out. So the more effort you put in to the lessons that you'll be having and the more smiles you give other people and the more you talk to other people, um, the more you will enjoy it and the more friends you will make. If you've got any questions in the meantime, my email address is on the website or your parents and carers can phone into school um, to speak to me and I will get back to them. Um, however, just to say from me, I'm really, really looking forward to meeting you all properly in September. I hope you found these videos useful. I hope you have a lovely summer. Stay safe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on Thursday, the 3rd of September. Bye for now.